Hi guys, welcome. This is the Plasma system I'm working on and it has been created with the ISO of 0911. And the topic of the video is how to build your own ISO. On Arcanlix B, we have the idea, if we can build an ISO, why can't you? And we've given you the power to build any of our ISOs. And as you can see, you can build them on any of these guys. So if you're on this distribution, you can actually build an Arch Linux based ISO. Well, an Arch Linux ISO. So build your own ISO stands for the B. The B stands for the building, right? And any of ours, here they all are, can be built and changed. So a video for how to build an ISO. The video that how to use, install Qtfish has been already created. So, in this article, what do they say? You need to git clone it. Some code from GitHub. Okay, control C, and then you go down, right mouse click. You need to go to a terminal, right? So, open with Dolphin, go to desktop, that's my workflow anyway. Work on the desktop and move to uh, later, if it's, it's ready, if it's final, right? Then you move it to some place that's synced. To the cloud that's my workflow maybe you have an external drive for instance so you go for open terminal but i kind of like this button up here open a terminal and then git clone well is there already in my control shift v so i don't need to type anything just boom copy paste so i've got my arco cute fish right this we don't need anymore arco cute fish and then they say you have an installation script. You can also use the personal folder. It's ready, it's there. Anything you put in here, PashRC, ZSHRC, uh, configuration of Terminator, Liquidity, XFCE, Plasma stuff, anything that's in the dot config, you just copy paste here. This is your, your future uh, home directory, right? So PashRC comes in here and the dot config folder comes in here with everything that you have, the dot local comes in here. So that's your personal thing. But there are separate videos about that on right here. So we're just going to go for this. Git clone, done that. Change packages, uh-huh, where's that? Change packages. <clears throat> Arch ISO, this is the list of all the Lego blocks you're gonna play with, that's it. A long, long list. And <clears throat> let's make this bigger. You need to kind of learn over time. And this time, I don't mean a week. In a few years time, you'll recognize most of these applications. And you say, okay, I want to have this, I don't want to have that. I need this, I don't want that, etc." So for the need and don't need, that's the drivers. Do I need Nouveau? No, I don't need Nouveau because it clashes with my NVIDIA drivers. So no, don't want it. Right? But there is already an option in, in uh, Arconix to avoid having Nouveau. That's one of the four lines when you boot up. So, um, yeah, there is support for NVIDIA there. If you don't have NVIDIA, you don't have a card. It's your personal ISO. Get rid of it, right? But it's about the things that, that um, you maybe like or want. Like, for instance, uh, Steam. Is Steam there? No, it's not. It's not by uh, by default on an ISO, but you're a gamer. That's what you do. That's all you do. Hashtag is gone. It's gonna be on the ISO. And Xenotic is one of the games I like, but it's one gigabyte, but you don't care. It will be an ISO of three gigabyte. Fine, but we'll have Xenotic out of the box on your system. That's what counts. So it's all about choices, right? Do I want this? Don't I want Paru bin? I don't never use Paru and always use yay. Don't want it, but just some advice. Also, uh, think about having a backup. If one fails, yay fails. Have Paru. If Paru fails, have yay. And there is also Trison and so many more. So icons you don't like, icons you do like, it's hashtag away. It's that simple. So, all right, we've decided to have Steam on there. Fine. And that's decision making, right? And then you build your ISO. That's what it says here. Okay, run script 30 if you build ISO for the first time. 
The idea there is to clean everything out. What are we going to clean? You have to know a little bit your Arch Linux system. Root, var, cache, pacman, packages. All the packages that are on my system are here. It's a caching system, right? So if you want to clean everything out and be sure that I get the right packages, the correct packages, no corrupt packages, the idea is to clean out everything. That's the advice they give on ArchWiki. They get rid of it and download everything again. Now, if you're already very low on the bandwidth and you have to pay and the internet's not good and all that, that's this one, right? Run script 40 if you build the ISO for the second time. You've downloaded everything, everything is correct. You know it, but you have to build the ISO again. Then you run number 40 because you're using the same packages you downloaded 50 minutes ago. That will be okay, right? So I'm gonna use number 40 just to be a little bit more quick because otherwise we have to wait for all the downloads. I have a fast internet, that's not a problem, but it will take a little bit longer. So number 40 for me, and that's all you need to do. You can walk away, have a little coffee, drink a little bit, right? And come back and you have an ISO. Is this technical? Is this powerful? Yes. Technical? I don't think so, right? Watch some videos. Voila, we started. You give some, you got some information up here, some summary. You can scroll up and scroll up and scroll up. Yeah, there we go. Here we have some, no, a little bit higher. This is our. So cute, cute fish, that's the number we're using. It's gonna be that ISO. We're using Arch ISO, so the Arch Linux application. If you are learning about Arch Linux, you use the Arch Linux ISO. That's built with this application. So we're doing exactly the same thing, using the same application as Arch Linux does, but do our tricks and tweaks with it. So we have an ISO. That's good for us, that we want. So all these things are, well, showing. You can also not show them, and then you see nothing, and you know nothing. Uh, that's not our our way of doing things, right? No dark box, no no button to press and then oh, no. You need to see what happens. You need to learn what happens. All the packages matter. What packages will be put on my machine because of I typed Steam, right? A lot of things will go on there. Lib32 things as well. long list of packages here they are the lib32 guys that's because we told them to install steam and then we get this so failed to retrieving file crack lib mirror osbeck so it means that arch linux the, the specific osbeck.com mirror today has a hiccup right there are these are computers this is networking, so it means, ah, I need to change my mirror. Yeah, you do. So, Control T, we have the end mirror list. That's my way of doing things, right? I kind of like the terminal. And the server here, the first one, that's Osbeck one. You see? So, okay, you're out, right? Strike one, Control X, yes, enter. Arrow up, enter. Osbeck is blue. Osbeck is out. Control X. I update my system. Now Pacman says, okay, now we get this. There's nothing to do. Unrecognized thing. Let's do another one. And mirror list. I guess they're syncing. So a computer gets the packages from somewhere, right? And the packages need to come from the servers. If the server is not okay for whatever reason, because we don't know, right? You just switch the server. You see, I have now number, number uh, line number three, which, oops, sorry, I wanted to go two up. Now we're going from mirror rack space, wherever that is. And I'm gonna try and do it again. So arrow up, 
build the ISO local again by pressing enter and hoping that on this server every single package is on there and then I'll be able to run it. So 43 packages were not on Osbeck. That's quite a lot, right? And it's done. It's done. We've got the packages. It's on our machine now. It's all in the far cache. You know where it is. That's where it is. And now he's going to make everything, cook everything. And we'll have an ISO. That feels a little bit like cooking. <laughs> because basically we give a recipe. This is the recipe to build an ISO. Take those ingredients, those packages, those packages, those packages, put them all together, make an ISO of it, boom, we've got a product. Well, you see what happens, right? Uh, with every video I make, things happen and I explain more things. So my advice is, even if you think that's not a good, interesting video, because of the title, I only have 100 characters for the title, but it always happens something. And I explain more and then you get at some point in time you have this feeling I have full control of my system and that's where you need to be that's when you stop distro hopping when you say this is it I get this I have control over this and it's all about knowledge basically uh, as you see me just switch around Arch Linux servers and boom everything works again so we're gonna build ourselves an ISO. All these things will be installed. And you see all the cute fish things here. Cute fish, cute fish, cute fish. But it will have steam on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can go. Now all we have to do is wait. So I'll just pause the video a little bit and then uh, come back. All right, time to test it out. So what we got, we got a Arcanlex B out folder and in there is the cute fish ISO. How big? 2.1 gigabytes. Well, Steam did cost something, I suppose. So then it's time to play around. Super F7 is our keyboard shortcut for VirtualBox. I have a template that I'm gonna clone and say this is my personal right cute fish. Clone. I put in my ISO, we're not gonna install it fully, just showing that Steam is there. And uh, pop, 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 Arcanlux B out. Yeah, the window is still open, you'll hear the cars pass by. And then Control F. So do learn what all these lines mean, right? It's important if you have issues, you start with another line and another line and another line until you get it right. So, open source for VirtualBox. Let's have a look. This is our creation, our decision making. What packages do I want on my future system? And what desktop do I want? Well, you we have to choose, right? But there's always the Arclix tweak tool to install more desktops. So it's freedom all around. Voila. So same thing, right? Beginner installation, advanced installation, you choose. But this Steam there, that's our question. Is Steam there? Oh my God, it worked, right? So anything that can be um, added with a, well, you see the list, right? There's a long list, a hashtag away or not. But also everything that's from Arconlex, that's from Archlinks, but never packages that are not built. You can't write a name there and it comes from the AOR. You always need to be able to sudo pacman minus assets. If you can't do it that, you can't put it on the list. All right? Remember that. So there you go. We've got ourselves an Arconlex B and it has Steam on it. When I'll do my installation, it, it will run. Well, it will copy paste basically this over on your future system and you'll have it and it's time to log in and all that. All right, have fun. Cheers.